Hi, how's it going? It's March 1st of 2020. Uh, it's like 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> it was having, um, I was having, um, lunches. I mean, um, dreams all night long last night. It was balls. I was like, uh, my dreams are always the same kind of theme. I'm in some phantom, some place that doesn't exist, like a town, city that doesn't exist in the world that doesn't exist. Like everything's different. Hanging out with people that I've never met before that don't exist. I just woke up. <laughs> just bouncing around doing things that I've never done before that I wouldn't do. I can't remember what was happening, but yeah. And there's usually something wrong. I don't know. I, I, I forgot it already. Uh, I'm surprised I'm remembering my dreams because I'm still smoking a ton of weed. I got weed the other day with my roommate and I haven't run out of it yet. But once I... Once I... um. Right out of this, I'm not going to smoke anymore. The only reason I got it was because I was just starting exercising and uh, I was getting up just feeling really bad. <sighs> you know, like overcooked and um, you smoke weed and all of a sudden you're like, okay, now we do it. Now we do, you know. So it'll probably help me today. I'm going to feel a little bit of cook cooked today because yesterday... I actually had insomnia last before last. I went out with my mom and roommate, and we had I had like three beers and barely ate anything the day before yesterday. Where I ate all I had was like an apple for breakfast. So that's like really bad nachos and a couple of chicken wings over at the restaurant. That's like all I had to yesterday, the day before yesterday, and then yesterday I didn't eat anything all day until I was until like ten o'clock at night or whatever. I mean, I was having the goo. Exercise goo for when I was riding my bike, but and I had a protein drink, but that's all. So I went out and I bought uh after my ride, I had a, a little bit of a, a soup, a tomato soup, and then eh, 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 eh. um, what else did I buy last night? I'm pretty sure I had something else. Um, I had a Gatorade, I got a Powerade for 89 cents. You can get them over at the supermarket. I love those, those are tasty. <laughs> Um, and I, I had a food thing, but I can't remember other than the soup. I'm pretty sure, but whatever. Anyway, and then I goes to sleep and, but it took me a little bit of while to go to sleep. Night before last, I didn't, I kind of allowed myself to stay up. I was watching stuff on YouTube or whatever. Last night, I kind of allowed myself to stay up too, but I, um, you know, when you're cooked, you kind of can't just go right to sleep. I took a sleeping pill and everything, but, you know, and I went to sleep as soon as I could. I was tired, which is a good sign. I was tired and, and I, uh, like tired as in sleepy tired, not tired as in cooked from exercising. So that was good. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep at night after my uh, medication runs out because I'm not going to keep buying the sleeping pills, the sleeping, <laughs> sleeping drinks. So, um, um. Yeah, so uh, it's 11.30. I got up at like 11.30. I, I definitely slept in. I was awake, but I was still dreaming. I was awake and dreaming. So I was kind of like mostly sleeping. But I was aware that it was daytime because I was opening up and, uh, my eyes enough. But yeah, I was thinking about getting up early, but I can't because I was actually... I, I, I was working until, um, I was exercising until like 9.30 last night because I rode my bike until 8 and then I uh, swam for another hour and 20 minutes. So what happened was, yeah, I got up really late, like 11 or 12 or, or something like that. And by the time it was 12, I was like, okay, I don't have, I don't even want to stretch because I don't have the time. I just want to ride my bike because uh, I was fresh yesterday, pretty much. I only rode 48 miles a day before yesterday. And I, 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 I after I started rolling, riding, I realized it was warm enough to ride outside. I haven't run outside yet, but now it's too cold to ride outside. So I'll have, just have to keep my eye on the weather. Um, but, um, but yeah, today I got up kind of to beat, you know, cause yesterday I rode 115 miles on the inner indoor trainer, but that was broken up into three rides, which makes it easier. <laughs> I broke it up after 26 miles just to take a smoke break. I didn't want to smoke on the bike and relax. And then I was riding more, and then I had to take another, I had to take time off again, because my mom came by, drop off my earphones, and 
I didn't, I didn't want her to call and then me get off the bike and then get dressed and go down there because it could just kind of rude make her wait so because she doesn't call me before she's coming she just comes and honks the horn so and she said she'd be here in a half hour but she's really bad at predicting time so it was actually an hour so I waited like a half hour 20 minutes 25 minutes and then I got off and I was doing work on my computer until she honked the horn and then I came right down so but hey, then I got back on the bike and I rode another 66 miles so I rode 115.3 miles yesterday I wanted to do 113 because the idea was to do 113 because that's the distance of Ironman rat race although I'm doing more than that I think I think those exercise bikes are like that people do in the gym are way easier than what I'm dealing with I'm I'm not on Zwift yet I'm curious to see if Zwift will make it easier but I use the built-in um, power meter on my bike I have the I have a, 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 a specialized triathlon uh, time trial bike, uh, most work shiv, and, um, I mean, I'm hammering, I think I'm going pretty good, you know, 150 watts, but I'm only going like 16 miles an hour, so it takes me just hours and hours to do 100, I saw this, I saw a video yesterday, I was watching the Iron Man videos, and there's this guy, Brian something from London Real, he does the interviews with people, and one of his, like, friends, interviewees, who's an Iron Man, talked him into doing an Iron Man. And a half Iron Man. And his bike was two hours and 51 minutes in the, in the half Iron Man, which is like a lot slower than I'm going to go. That's like f an hour slower than the guy, than the top guys. Um, but when, but when, on his very first time when he went into the gym and he's riding on the exercise bike, he went, he averaged 26.7 miles an hour for for like 56 miles or whatever on an exercise bike which is absolutely impossible if you're riding a two hour 51 minute bike leg of a half iron man so so when somebody's like yeah i did a full iron man inside it's like yeah what bike did you use because mine man mine don't offer no mercy anyway so i rode I rode 115 miles on that Today, when I get on it, I want to, um, I want to, um, I want to, uh, get on Zwift and see if I can go faster on Zwift, see how Zwift works, because I have the smart trainer, the Wahoo trainer, but then after, so I, I told myself, I'm going to ride until 8, but I'm not going to ride any later than 8, because my thing, it's kind of loud, I can literally, legally, I can ride until 10, but it goes on the ground, and when I start getting past a certain wattage, like maybe 160 watts or whatever, 150 it starts to vibrate into the earth and I think it just makes the whole room vibrate and that's what keeps the people up so even though my um below me because they like to complain um my swim erg is louder than my bike erg but it doesn't vibrate the floor so I think I can get away with doing that later so I kind of felt like didn't want to be rude so I, I told myself I'd stop at eight so I stop at eight and then I look at my thing and I was already over I was just over Hey, by two miles, I'd done 115.3 miles and 66.3 miles on that ride, and I had to do 64, so I was like, well, there you go, I did it, haha, <laughs> and then I got on the swimmer and swam, I did a 4k in an hour and 20 minutes, 24 seconds, um, my arms were really weak, I, I was surprised, I thought I would be, um, back up to snuff again, but, um, my arms are weak, I guess, just because my arms are weak, <laughs> and my left arm, got sore again it's my left arm has strength power power issues i can't just go on every single one like i can on the right leg if i do that on the left it gets sore and just weak and so i hope i didn't like tear tendons before that'll take power away from me forever and i'll just have to do special stretches to make sure that that and then hopefully i can build it all back up but uh so I didn't. I was gonna go swimming yesterday, but I decided against it because I couldn't find my ear, my underwater earphones. I have um I have the ones that my um, iPod Nano Shuffle came with, but they kept falling out. They were useless. So I got the kind that has the hook that goes over the ear. But I think the left side was broken because they never even worked when they came. I was gonna take them back, but I never got around to it. And now I can't find either one. Maybe I threw them away because I was just frustrated. So I went on the internet and I bought the other kind that has the little thing that comes in here and they're supposed to be the ones that don't fall out. So 
I figure I'll go swimming after I get those in the mail. And that was a couple of days ago when I ordered them, three to seven business days. So once I get those, I'll start swimming. I don't want to swim before. I weighed myself and I'm 187 pounds, man. I'm not losing weight. It's crazy. Like I'm trying to be an endurance athlete and I'm not trying to, I only lifted weights a couple of days and I'm just swimming and running and biking and I'm just not gaining weight. I'm, I'm getting a little bit thinner as time goes on, but I'm still fat, but I am getting a little bit thinner. But as I'm burning away fat, I must be, must be building muscle. So I'm going to have to just keep training on the endurance stuff until I just whittle my weight down. It's a lot harder to burn muscle away than it is to burn fat away, though. Like, I'd have to get, like, legit start overtraining. But I saw a video of this dude who was a bodybuilder and turned into an Ironman. And looked like, I mean, he was a full-on bodybuilder. And it looked like he uh, he got his weight down pretty good in just six months. So it's just a matter of, um, I eat a lot of protein, too. I don't know if that's it, but just a matter of waiting, you know, it's been a month and there's so many different things I had to do, weightlifting and just put my body through the ringer. So today I'm going to stretch for sure because I didn't yesterday for like 40, 30 minutes at least, my routine and then, or 45 minutes and then I'm going to do this, the squatting and then I'll go and probably do swimming and biking just until 8 or 10 today. Uh, but we'll see, but I definitely want to do the squatting, just uh, film myself, just for form over on my machine in my clubhouse. It's really cool, play, cool for the squat machine. It's got its own little spotting, uh, like, uh, straps on there. It's really badass. Yeah, and then back on this, so just another day. Um, I'm back in training, though, you know, training six hours a day. I can't, you can't do this every single day. You know, I'm, I'm going to get into the where I'm going to get get weaker again, and then I'll probably have to take a day off. That's when I'll do the book. I didn't do any Appian. When I was reading, when I was writing yesterday, I was, uh, I did a little bit, but then I was mainly just listening to music. I was watching Iron Man videos, triathlon videos. Those were cool. I want to go and watch all the ones I can find on that, on the internet of that when I'm writing, and then, uh, uh, but once I get stronger, I'll be able to work on the website while I ride the bike. I just need to, my arms had no, I had no energy yesterday, but I didn't expect to because I took four days off and I wasn't doing anything. And, um, and, um, my arms were blown off when I took the four days off. So that four days probably got the uh, lactic acid out, but didn't get the blood back in. So I would needed a day to exercise my blood back in my arms. And maybe that was yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm still at the beginning, very beginning of my uh, journey, you know. Somebody could be like, oh, like I think I saw the video. Some guy was going to try to train for an Ironman. And oh yeah, that guy, London Real, in 60 days. But the thing is, when he started training for the Ironman 60 days out, he was already in shape. Like he'd been doing yoga and lifting weights. And he was already, you know, in good shape. Me, I was in the worst shape a human being could be in. You know, so I'm having to get it from Zil Zilcho in one month, that'll get me up to like regular. And then another month that'll get me to like regular fit. You know what I mean? Like three months just to get me to where I was when I was out of shape when I was in my twenties. And then that's when I, the real training begins. You know what I mean? So it's going to take forever for me because just of how deep I got into the shit. Anyways, I've talked long enough. I'm going to go and Oh, yeah, plus I woke up hungry today for the first time. That was cool. And I think yesterday, too. But then I wasn't hungry. So, yeah, it's badass. I keep wanting to go to the Dots Diner to get a nice, like, um, Huevos Rancheros, but I'm never up in time. If I go there now, I'll have to wait. If I go there right at 7, I, you can go in and out. It's pretty cool. So I'll have to have something tasty to eat over my my room today. Oh, yeah, I bought some different food yesterday. Oh, yeah, I got a, a, a spaghetti sauce, but I have eggs. So, anyways, um, uh, another day. Talk to you tomorrow.